Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Well, it's it's kind of rainy out there. It's Friday morning, and we were like, man, we're not. Last night, I'm sitting there. I'm like, we're not going to sales tomorrow. It's gonna be storming. I did kind of look anyway, and I found two sales within 10 minute drive of us that said rain or shine. So we went out this morning, and we did pick some some pretty decent stuff up. Um, we're gonna pull orders, and then we're gonna show y'all what we found. Yep, and we're going to make snowballs on RuneScape. <laughs> this is what I look at every day. Yeah, Candace is, Candace is getting tired of it. <laughs> but I, don't, I do not play RuneScape all day, y'all. I have to click. I have a timer set on my phone, and every 18 minutes, all I have... It has to click. I just have to click my snow pile. And, to make snowballs. That's right. It's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we had... Uh, it was another good sales day yesterday. Yeah. It was yep. a really good sales day. We don't have a ton of uh, quantity, but we've got some really good quality. Yeah, some more big things going out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and some little things. Yeah, very small and very big. Yes. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Pocket 47, Holy Bible charm, bracelet charm. Right here. Yep. Got it. That's all for $19.99. Okay. Um, the next order has two charms on it. Pocket 81, Florida Lee, and Pocket 51, Louisiana. 81, that is a Florida Lee. And 51 yep. is a state of Louisiana shaped sterling thing. Yep, Florida Lee, $9.99. And the Louisiana outline, $14.99. Um, some carnival swag on CC4. Two fanny packs. We actually got that from uh, your mother. Yes. <laughs> CC4. Get these right here. My mom goes on so many cruises. She's like highest level card color or whatever. So, um, yeah. They, they she Normally, you only get one prize and they give her two. <laughs> so, Candace says she's going to start telling her to just give her all the little things. She doesn't do anything. She ain't going to use that. No. So, yeah, they sold for $14.99. In the Digimon drawer, I sold that little um, Convict Ship Success little emblem on the leather strap. That sucker sold quick, too. Yes, that's kind of a bolo. They made all kind of stuff. Um, I saw, like, a pill box, a shot glass. Why don't you tell the story? I don't so it was a ship in australia and they wound up the prisons there from when england was sending prisoners over there the prisons got so full that they were having to use ships to hold the prisoners um just i guess anchoring them offshore and just putting prisoners on them so um yeah that was a convict ship in australia and ended up over here um and it went to the chicago world's fair and they, they had kind of turned it into a museum. So it was at the Chicago World's Fair. And then it ended up sinking, running aground over here somewhere and caught on fire. And so, yeah, it was destroyed. And, and they, at that point, they took all the copper off of it? They took copper from it and sold it as souvenirs. Um, yeah. yeah, so there's all kind of souvenirs out there with these little emblems on them. And yeah. they are big money. Some of them are better than others. Yeah, like I sold solds for $100. Um, like I think the, maybe the little pill box or something. Anyway, I listed that yesterday for $49.99 and it sold within, what, an hour? Yeah, and let's just tell ourselves that it sold so fast because of safe search and not because it wasn't priced high enough. No, it was definitely because of a safe search. Now, they might have bought it so quickly because we had it priced too low i don't I, know i think it was a good price though yeah. because just because of the type of piece it is it's like a like a luggage tag type thing so. or something like it probably once had a little buckle on it that's missing so it's basically the emblem on a leather piece of leather strap so that, that's like a uh that ship is like what 200 years old well, 250 the, the emblem on there says what like 17 1790 i think but i mean i just i didn't delve deep into my research but on wikipedia it says it was actually built like in the 1800s okay. so i don't know which is accurate but yeah it's a it was an old ship um next item we sold that pop cola wooden soda crate where's that where did i even put it's that two foxtrot so yeah you're gonna have to dig it out from under there. oh gosh okay yeah i'll be back in a minute it's behind those boxes 
Okay, that wasn't too bad. Um, that, this, uh, that came from the um, garage sale where we got all the charm bracelets. The, right, where we got all the gold and charms yes. and all that stuff. And so so did that piece there, the, uh, yes, the came, ship piece. Yep. Um, so we paid, I think, 15 for it? No, we paid 10, $10 for 10, that. And we sold it for 80 Yep, we got an offer on... Well, not an offer, but somebody messaged, asked if we would take 80 We hadn't got any kind of... Uh, inquiries before that mm -hmm. so i can't see not taking the 80. yeah we had it listed for 100 so i'm happy with it 100 was kind of on the high side i think it was but they're that that those are very rare especially in red i only found one red one on worth point um usually they're yellow and maybe green i've never even heard of that before no, pop cola either. like that mm -mm. all right next item let's see racing stickers b8 okay And these sold for fourteen dollars and ninety nine. Look, that's the last one in the B B slot. Oh, nice. I'm gonna put this up. All right, on for Foxtrot, we sold a insulated server for like the glass um, corningware Pyrex casserole dishes. It goes in there. Let's see, I see it back there. I think it's gonna be yeah, easier. It's down, like I just dropped it down under there. Two pieces, and it's got like Okay, I think it's this. Picked that up for a couple of bucks and sold it for $29.99. Okay. Uh, we have one more huge item on eBay. We're going to skip that for now and come back after this stuff is packed. But we do have one more um, Etsy order on two Echo. It's four gumbo bowls. Okay, let me grab them. On where? Two Echo. No, I got them. I'm being careful. I'm treating treating these like gold. Uh, we sold those on Etsy for one thirty nine ninety nine plus ship. So we've. We how sold many, all the bowls. Now how we, many have we sold now? We've sold two sets of bowls. We only had two? Yes. Dang, I wish we would have had more. I know, that's what everybody's going to want. It makes um, sense. So what we have left is a four a four set of four dinner plates and then three lots of four salad plates. So yeah, and we added it up. Yeah, it's like $380 worth of stuff that we, still, that we still have. Yeah. And we've, we've sold so far... 280. 280. 280 in sales, and Candace spent 80 something? 80. It was like half of um, 175. What is that? 8750, I yeah. think. Mm -hmm. So we're already up gross about $200 yeah. before fees and stuff. So right. that that buy was really good, and this stuff is hot. And I think that that other stuff is going to sell. I think so too. Um, I cross listed it on Etsy, which is where these sold, and actually someone else reached out to me late last night. So we could possibly sell the rest of it today. We'll see what she says. Yeah, they um, they wanted to buy the rest of it, which we have priced at three eighty total. Yeah. And um, she asked if we could do better. Than she that. asked if we could do a little better. She bought it all. We're not willing to do a lot better because we were talking about it's like, look, this stuff is going to sell. Yeah. So we did, but we did. I mean, you have to give some kind of break. So uh, we did. Uh, we told her we'd sell the rest of it for three forty plus ship instead of three eighty. Yeah. So we're waiting. To see I bet she buys it. Yeah. I mean, because I she, she's not. How many chances is she going to have? Right. Yeah. I mean, this stuff is just not out there. I, I've never seen it before. And people want it. Yeah. Um. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff packed. Then we'll pull the big thing. Also, uh, I wanted to ask, how is y'all shipping going right now? Because we had, it's been sporadic for us. Haven't had any like major slowdowns yet. Yeah, the issue we're having is scans. Right. Yeah, uh, with the ground advantage. And I, I, Lonnie and I were talking, um, I have a feeling it's because of the Black Friday rush. Maybe they were told if they start getting bogged down just to move packages and don't worry about scanning. We're assuming, um, but it looks like scans kind of picked back up yesterday. Yeah, so what she's talking about, we had 
our, a lot of our packages we sent on Friday, they got no scans at our local post office or our local hub. And a few days later, they just show up again, scanned in at the distant end hub. Yeah. And, uh, you know, hey, that that's fine. They're moving at least. We haven't had anything bogged down. We haven't had any complaints from any customers yet. Right. Could still be coming. I've seen some severe bog downs. Yeah. In in past years, not necessarily. I don't remember it was last first first class. For, well, it was first class and media. I think two years ago during the the big COVID um lockdown, lockdown right. when everybody was buying everything online, it was pretty bad. And then years prior, it was bad too. I don't think last year. I don't remember it being too bad. I don't year. either. I don't either. All right, let me get this stuff packed. All righty, got all that stuff out, and we have one more big thing to pull here. Yes, this is from our um, like our indie board game buy um, that we did last oh, spring. Most people probably don't even remember it. Yeah, it was a big buy, um, all new sealed product. I'll put a clip in. We got all this on the table here, everything you see for four hundred dollars. Yep, he was looking for five hundred. We comped a few things and we felt comfortable uh, offering 400. And he jumped on it. And he jumped. As a matter of fact, I'll put a clip in right here. Yeah. See, like where the swastika would have been on the uniform, I see iron crosses instead. So I don't gotcha. think they used it. So everything is new? Yeah, everything, nothing's been played with or anything. Okay. Because, because by the time I got him, my game group had moved out. So. Gotcha. Could you do four? For all of it? Yeah. Sure, I'll take four for all of it. Four, okay, cool, we got a deal. And I think this is the last thing we had hanging around, or did you say there was something else? No, we have one more game. But I mean, I wanna say like, the games we did sell already, it's well over a thousand dollars in sales. It might be like fifteen hundred. I just don't remember. Yeah. But we paid four hundred dollars for yeah, all those games. We did. Um, and we sold this one. Yes, this is the last one. There's, there's a lot of components to it. Uh, Reich Busters. It's not the last one, but there's one more. Yeah, well, the last big... Isn't right. It? Yeah. The, the last game we have, I don't even remember what it's called, but it's behind these paperbacks. I think it might be like a box or two right there that's bubble wrapped. Yeah, we had we had a, a few big sets like this. Um, it's It's got like expansion packs and Kickstarter... Uh, early you know buyers or whatever you call it um yeah so we sold that one for uh 320. yeah i had it priced at 500 for a long time and then I ha i've had it on sale a bunch of times in the past year for like 25 percent off then last yesterday somebody offered 300 it was on sale for 375 they offered 300 i counted with 350 they counted with 320 I talked to Candace and she's like, you better sell that thing. Yeah, we just had no interest. Um, so, and somebody's gonna get a, a good deal on a bunch of board game stuff for Christmas, you know? Right. Um, Cause it's got, it's even got like the paints with it and everything. Oh, it's the full thing. It's got all kind of little expansions. There's a book, there's a gaming mat, just all kind of stuff. One thing I was careful about when we bought this is, uh, and I think it was in that clip y'all probably saw just now, uh, it's called Reich Busters, so I was real careful to make sure there wasn't like a bunch of swastikas or something yeah, on here. There's and there's not. Yeah. It's obviously themed around that, but it's not. Uh, right. There's not a lot of Nazi stuff on it. No. Yeah. No. So. Alrighty, let me get this packed. <laughs> we did fill. We did empty out. Uh, yeah. This whole inventory location right here too, yep. which that was nice. Thought I would show y'all this real quick. I'm just about to close it up finally. Um, I did manage to fit all the board game stuff into two 12-12-12s. And then I did another 12-12-12 here to resize some of the smaller components. Uh, this is going to be pretty heavy. I don't even know how much they paid for shipping. I'll, I'll let y'all know how much it costs and everything in a minute. But I just wanted to show y'all the pack. So put those directly into these boxes here. And then this, as y'all can see, we obtained this box uh, when we made the Nutcracker buy. So it's going to have some random stuff written on it. It's one of the cleaner ones, actually. 
see what this flap has on it yeah okay yeah it's not bad at all that's all it has is just that but uh one thing that does kind of it's kind of a pain this is double wall so um it is going to kind of snap whenever uh whenever i fold it i may have to come back and score it more oh it didn't snap but uh i am going to go ahead and tape all these seams too but this is going to be super strong I'm, I'm pretty happy with this pack okay uh when i bought the postage for that big box i did a poor job when i listed of estimating sometimes i do a poor job sometimes I do a great job sometimes well poor job either over or underestimating you want i, want, I always try and get it close it it's costing 54 dollars to ship and they paid 47 so and of course the ebay fees and stuff come out of the 54 too so yeah whatever it all comes out of the whole pile of money the guy sent in the end anyways right. so um yeah let's talk about this stuff we got okay <laughs> and and about my my idiotic mistake well i mean they looked good to me look here's what happened okay i walk up to these boards at the garage sale and i'm like oh those look like penny boards but i know there's a ton of knockoff penny boards out there and i and then i get closer to it and i see this tape and i'm like oh australia okay these are the penny boards then because these these say australia on them but under the tape and we only paid two dollars so this is not like i'm not trying to like blow wow, this up wow. into yeah. some big deal or something but these are mad gear with two d's and it says australia under there and if you look if you look at the uh there's a sticker right here made in china this is like some walmart boards yeah. Th these things are worth maybe i don't know eight dollars they're, they're worth donating to goodwill is what they are right and that's fine you know some kid will pick up a skateboard for a couple of bucks i'm okay with that and most but, goodwill thinks they're real penny boards and tries to charge 50 bucks for them but i was telling candace when we got in the truck i was like man that's awesome i haven't found real like legit penny boards in forever every time i see them nowadays they're the knockoffs <laughs> little did i know i got taken yeah i i, I just good didn't knock off they look nice well they all do because they're easy to do yeah. but i didn't i saw this australia fool me and then the tape being over the part that says mad gear which i don't think they did that on purpose no they wouldn't they didn't i don't think they it cared. is weird they put it right over the logo it is but i mean it's a two dollar thing yeah. like who's going to do that for two bucks all right we picked up a couple of cookbooks um pots pans and pioneers uh, these were a dollar dollar each mm -hmm. um, they were and snake rattle and rotel i've had both of these before i looked man this one's in really good shape i looked this one up this is about old crazy Sam Higgins. Y'all know how he looked. Yeah, he's crazy. Um, I looked this. Well, I looked up our sold from August. We sold this book for fifteen dollars plus ship. Yeah. So I guess we'll probably list it for that much again. Yeah. And then we've had this book, pots and po pots, pans and pioneers too. That's another. That's the phone book. Um, Telephone Pioneers of America, some kind of organization. I think it's charitable organization um for the phone company for like bell and we've had this book a bunch like probably what three times or so three yeah. four times yeah uh we got it for a buck it has some condition some pretty bad condition issues um yeah we're just not very observant sometimes they had put tape over here and it was in a dark garage so i could i could tell it was like loose but i didn't know it was actually taped together so yeah i don't we're not going to get much for it because it completely... I don't think I don't, it might not be sellable. Right. I mean, look at it. Maybe yeah. I'll get some good recipes out of it. Man, we suck at this. We do. How do we make a living at this? I don't. We. <laughs> that's the that's the great thing though about sourcing at garage sales. Your mistakes are usually really small. Yeah. And your score, like your home runs, are usually really big. Yeah. So you that 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 range in between there, you got a lot of room to make a lot of like. So, so far we have five dollars in mistakes four two four five oh yeah you're right five dollars in mistakes and we have a fifteen dollar gross that'll cover that'll cover all the mistakes yep that well, kind of is a wash 
Sort of, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, been there series Starbucks mug for Louisiana. Uh, probably about 20 bucks. Paid $2 for it. Okay. I always pick those up, especially if they're clean. I see a lot of times when they're obviously not been used, but they're not in their box. People on eBay sell them as new. I'm like, how is yeah, What it? does that even mean? Yeah, because they're not in their box. How can it be new if it's not in the box? Oh. Trust, trust me, bro. I never drank out of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, these are the Buyer's Classics Carolers. Um, they, there's six of them. They had them marked for each. I asked them if they'd take 20 for all, and they said yes. They're probably worth about $20 each. That's a that's a score. Yeah. Um, I've kind of seen these before, and I'm like, man. We have one on the shelf over we there. We do. Um, and I, I didn't, I, didn't, I never looked at them, so one day I did, and there's, they're usually about $20 each resale. There are some that sell for higher, I guess, limited editions. There's some that go up to like 100 bucks. Yeah, yeah. So if you can pick them up cheap enough, it's worth it, you know. So you, so we probably have, we probably have twenty turning into about one hundred and twenty here. Then yeah. Okay. And it's interesting about um, like the the ones with the books. The books are being held on with um, straight pins. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, did somebody do that? And I pulled up somebody else's listing, and that's how theirs was. That's how it's done. That's how they're made. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of weird. They are. They all. I, I told Candace they all look like they're making a thumbnail YouTube Resell thumbnails. Them, reselling like, thumbnails. Oh, you won't believe what I. You won't believe what I found at this garage sale. <laughs> Best garage sale ever. <laughs> Mega score. <laughs> <laughs> they all look so shocked. <laughs> okay, so this is a uh, HyperX gaming keyboard. I think mainly. Uh, it was a dollar fifty. You picked it up just to have around. I bought it for us. Yeah, just to have around here. It, they sell those on eBay refurbished for like thirty bucks shipped. Yeah. So it's not a bunch of money. It, it is. It feels nice though. I like it. It's a good. It's not mechanical, but it's got a good feel it's to it. It's one of those that lights up, huh? Yeah, it's a HyperX RGB alloy core. Blah blah blah. Yeah. It's 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 a good keyboard. I liked it. So. Got that for only paid a dollar fifty for that. Yeah. And then we also got some uh Candace put it over here already. Oh Look, yeah. We got some uh some new dusters. Electronic duster things for two for a dollar. Fifty cents a piece. Yeah. Two of those. So pick that up. Real impressive, huh? Yeah, well considering that there shouldn't have been any sales, it was storming this morning like bad. Yeah. So I didn't even think we were going to go out. So I'm, I'm happy with what we found. We weren't, we were gone maybe what, 30 minutes? Yeah. Maybe, maybe we make a hundred bucks off of this stuff. Yeah. You know, and donate this stuff. Some kid's going to get some penny boards. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> penny board style. <laughs> Australia. They shouldn't be able to put Australia on that. Yeah. Well, uh, I, guess, I guess the company's in Australia. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're made in China though. Um, yeah. They, pro they probably renting, they're probably renting like a five by five closet in australia so they can claim it's an australian company yeah. that's probably what's going on yeah all right we're gonna get back to work and do some listing hello everyone it is day two hey it's day two and it is sunday afternoon um we had we've been doing state sales this morning we picked up a few things it's probably going to go in the next video the reason why is we have a lot of orders to pack already. So we're going to get a jump start today on Sunday afternoon. I feel like we have to because mm -hmm. I don't know what we're going to sell like tonight. It could be like so many, hopefully so many that I wouldn't be able to pack everything in time before the carrier got here. Right. And tomorrow morning we may be going to um, another sale. A, a sale. So yeah, we want to have that option um, if we wake up and decide to go that the orders are taken care of. Right. Oh, yeah. uh, I did want to mention some saw a lot of questions like we talked about pirate ship last time and um, no I'm not I'm not a shill for them or anything like that I just as a matter of fact in the past I've reached out to them to see if they wanted to like sponsor the channel or something or an affiliate or affiliate or something yeah. and no they don't do anything like that at least not with me um, which is a shame because we get so many we get contacted so much by all the stuff that we don't want to use or don't or won't won't use and the things we do the use. things we do use and we reach out nothing right which that's 
I, I get it because pirate ship doesn't have to really advertise mm -hmm. because they're such they're like a product that everyone wants to use or a lot of people do anyway it's not for everyone um i want to talk about it real quick because some had, people yeah we've had a lot of questions lately we've had a lot of questions it, the pirate ship account is free to free to make um now as far as paying for the shipping uh, obviously you pay for the shipping you can pay for it label by label uh but there's also a setting let me see if i can find it without exposing like my credit card information and stuff let's see wait hang on payment method okay yeah payment method under that uh you can choose your de default payment amount i put it at 100 bucks um we actually had an issue when i first started using pirate ship like it would charge like three dollars and 47 cents and then seven dollars and then twelve dollars and then five dollars all individual transactions and the car our card ended up shutting them down bank institutions do not like tons of little transactions repeatedly um it's it's a flag for stolen card numbers right yeah so it got shut it, that kept happening for a couple of days and i'm finally went and looked and i'm like oh i could just do so now it does a hundred dollars hundred dollars and then you get like a hundred dollar balance in your account you spend that off until it's out and then it auto charges your card a hundred dollars again whenever it runs out and you need more postage so i want to talk about that first of all the second thing is uh integrations this is how you get pirate ship to actually pull in all of your orders so you see i have big cartel uh which we used to use a lot because we would sell the box resizers mm -hmm. and um we've sold a few products on there not right where we tried to um but yeah mainly just merch and box resizers and we we did like a uh we did like a charity thing yep. with uh mugs several times i don't know if y'all remember we donated we got one of those big checks to donate to cancer society and stuff ten thousand dollars as a matter of fact yeah uh just off of these mugs well we had Three colors. We had three different colors, uh, orange, blue, and, and green. Yeah. We, we have them all somewhere scattered yeah, around. around here. But um, when we were doing those mugs, I remember one time we did, we rolled them out. And I remember one day I shipped like, it was a, like 200 mugs in one day. It was, I mean, I was still working in the bank and he did all that on his own on top of regular reselling eh, no but that cut into regular reselling a lot well i know it did but um and it was all not for profit i mean right all the all the profit went straight to the cancer society right so. but i used pirate ship uh big cartel via pirate ship and all i had to do was just import all those orders they all came into here mm -hmm. and i was able to just batch buy all the labels and it was like it would print for like five minutes straight yeah. just you know labels come off and i and that's what i used right there mm -hmm. um obviously they do have ebay and if you want to see connect new source big cartel is what i use they also have shopify uh, oh you can connect to paypal i didn't even know that etsy, etsy. yeah we haven't connected to etsy yet we might go ahead and do that but whenever you um Whenever you want to go to ship, you just click on import and it pulls in all of the orders from all of your integrations whenever you do that. And uh, it, it, it's super simple. And then whenever you actually buy the label on Pirate Ship, it transmits, automatically transmits the tracking number back to eBay and it gets marked as sold. So couldn't, couldn't really be much easier. It's pretty fantastic. So I just wanted, is there anything else I need to say about no, that? That was the main question that um, some people had was how did, how did you get it to pull? You know, can you pull the orders from eBay? How do you pull it? It's yeah. from settings, manage integrations, mm -hmm. connect new source. And you're going to have to do some kind of thing. Uh, I believe where you give, e give, um, pirate ship. give pirate ship permission to access the info through eBay and this yeah. and that. Uh, but yeah, it's not hard. It's not hard at all. 
pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we do have like we got like uh, it's early Sunday afternoon, and we've got like thirty-seven we have orders. Thirty-seven orders, um, and I think something on Poshmark. Oh, we have something on Posh going yes, on. Yes, I think okay. a dog collar on Poshmark. I'm gonna double check that. Lots of uh, lots of smalls, lots of lower cost stuff, but then some higher cost a stuff few too. Bigger, yeah, it's a nice mix. It's been a really good sales weekend. Looks like uh, there's an order with two items on it, so we'll say uh, 38. Okay. Yeah, 38 um, items. All right, so, let's so go we're going to go ahead and get started, yeah. We need to go ahead and try and get these pulled. Oh, uh, speak, uh, we're real quick, because we are pulling from the pockets, and I had a few people ask, where do we get those? Those are just, they're they're made for um, jewelry, like to put in your closet just to store jewelry in. You can buy them Walmart, probably the dollar stores. I uh, order them on Amazon. They're everywhere. What this they're thing right here? They're jewel called hanging jewelry organizers. Is what they are. So, if we yeah. if we had this to do over again, I think you'd just use a sharpie on the pockets, huh? Well, yeah, I, I did that on some, but it's hard to read. Um, it's not bad, especially like when you when they're full. Yeah, I'm gonna. I need to take the time and read number because yeah, I messed up the numbers. There's duplicates on one side and redo these here can you imagine if you did like a bunch of smalls and you have one of those uh z rack things or whatever oh, yeah full of like just hang, hang those on the z rack and make them rack, yeah. they could even be a little lar longer than that mm -hmm. and each one holds a lot gobs of inventory what yeah. like 100 items or more right. <laughs> so yeah all right let's get started okay all right we're gonna try and speed pull all right ready pocket 64 Sterling silver bracelet. Okay. We have quite a few charm things going out. Yeah. We were uh charmed. It's very charming to be selling. We this we stuff. were we were very we were fortunate to find that. We were that's like mm -hmm. you don't find stuff like that. No. Where Especially people are the, selling silver and gold cheap. On the second day of a garage sale, that gold one was still sitting there. I was like, what? Buying silver and gold for cheap? Mm -hmm. That don't happen. Nope. <laughs> so that one sold for $44.99. Pocket 67. It's a turtle gold charm. Oh, I like this one. Yeah. We had a silver turtle too, didn't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one sold for $116.99. It's a little 14 carat one. 2.3 grams. In the Digimon drawer, Boy Scouts of America sharpening stone with pouch. Yeah, this is cool. I've never seen one. I've, we've seen a lot of Boy Scout stuff. I've never seen this. Yeah. Like the little snap on that one's broken. If you have one in good shape, you're talking fifty dollars and up. And where the stone, you can still read the graphics on them. The stone is in great condition. It looks like the stone was used maybe a couple of times. Yeah, that's it. It's called a carborundum, and people always make sure to put that in their title. Um, that sold for nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. That was part of the gold buy too, I yes. think. Yes. Um, three Bravo Cooking Secrets Cookbook. Laplace Ladies. Laplace Ladies. Yeah, this is a cool book. Just wonder. Okay, yeah, it's under Cooking Secrets. Cooking Secrets of Laplace. Yeah. It's the Laplace Ladies Ultra Society from the Joan of Arc Church. Uh, $26.99 for that. And also on that order, um, they have some stamps, um, 5D Bright Stampin' Up stamp sets. Okay. A Love Matters and an Express Yourself. Okay. I've had these for a little while. Okay. Love Matters and Express Yourself. Okay, I got Love Matters. And, oh, Express Yourself is coffee. Yeah, I like Espresso. I got you. Uh, wait. I'm supposed to grab another one. Did I put it back? Yes, I did. Duh. I make this look so hard, don't I? What if this actually was hard? I'd be I'd be in trouble. Okay. Tried to put it back again. Love matters and express yourself. Got them. Love matters, nine dollars ninety nine cents. Express yourself, eight dollars ninety nine cents. Yeah, I sent offers out. It's mm -hmm. probably what we're some purple chucks on one Charlie. Yeah, this so good, huh? Fast, you mean. Sold fast and good. Yeah. Whatever good means. <laughs> I say good is fast and decent money. Okay. 
Yeah. Look, one thing though, these are clean. They are. They look like they were maybe worn once, huh? Somebody could buy these instead of buying new ones. Must be expensive because yeah. I see people selling these things for like eighty bucks. Mm -hmm. Eighty bucks free shipping. Yeah. And it looks like they're getting it. Those sold for twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Okay. We have a Nutcracker, a Fireman on Five Charlie. Okay. It says left, but who knows? Oh. I think it's in the middle, actually. Funny story. We were at an estate sale this morning. Well, I see him. I'll get him. Oh, you can get him from, better from that way. Yeah. We're at an estate sale this morning, and um, someone said my name. Say my name. <laughs> <clears throat> and, uh, oh, there's a sale. There's a sale. And it was a lady standing there, introduced herself, viewer, yep. and she said, I bought a nut the Fireman Nutcracker from y'all yeah. yesterday. I'm like, oh yeah, I, yeah, I remember that sold yesterday. That's yeah. awesome. Yep. And she was really nice and, uh, you know, talked to her for a minute and talked to Candace for a minute. But here's the thing. I told her this too. I was like, I, t I told her, um, you know, we actually bought bought that nutcracker about two or three houses down from where we're standing right now yes we were at a state sale this morning and the nutcracker buy was just a few houses down from where we were and this buyer that bought a nutcracker was standing right there <laughs> it, was so crazy. it was bizarre yeah that is a cool one is that a steinbeck um uh, albright albright okay it sold for 114 dollars and 99 cents those are the two main brands yeah uh steinbeck probably the primary one yeah. And then the Albright is, but there are some Albrights that are like super high, yeah, super really expensive. Good. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's two names to look for. Um, we sold a vintage Baton Rouge High School pennant on 6 Alpha. It's green. Uh, 6 Alpha. Oh, that's 6 Bravo. 6 Alpha is the, Cube. you're the only one that does that. I'll, I just call it. Me and Candace have a thing where whenever I, for custom skew, I always put cube. What if that cube gets moved somewhere? Then it, it'll still be a cube. But then you'll have stuff on 6 Alpha that is not cube. Exactly. And you have stuff in the cube that's not 6 Alpha. Yeah, but if you got, went with my convention, <laughs> then we could start calling it 6 Alpha yeah. and the cube would still apply. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, that's all for thirty-seven dollars and forty-nine cents. Okay. Pocket seventy-three. What do you think it is? Uh, it's gonna be. Oh, I, um. Don't cheat. Huh? Or don't cheat. I'm not. Don't. I think I think it's gonna be a gold charm. Am I right so far? It is not gold. Okay. It's a transformer part. Oh. Pocket seventy-three. Okay. It's a real cheap one. It's a radar. It's a part only for a trail breaker. Tran Generation 1 Transformer. Sold for $7. So this little shiny piece here? Uh, it doesn't look shiny on the picture. I'm well, it's probably... I, I, I can see it. It already looks like it to me. That's it. Oh. That's it for sure. My picture. That's the thing about our camera. That thing looks so much better in person than my pictures. Another cha-ching. Yeah, you usually y'all don't, don't hear cha chings because I keep my phone yeah. uh, typically on silent. Do you want to look? I'll look. Let me see. Candace is gonna look. I'm gonna look just in case. You never know. Maybe we sold our Pyrex. No, we did sell a. Uh, we did sell another cracker though, yeah, so we'll be seeing cracker. him in just a bit. We'll probably pull him. Yeah, he's a smaller one. I'm okay. Not really? No, he's a chubby thirteen inch. A chubby thirteen incher. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, let me get back to where we were. We got distracted. We sold some comic strips Conan on CC14. Oh, C6. oh, that's right. They're up here. C6, it's five of them. Yep. Keep them in here. I have more. We need to get some more. Lists I need a list. Keep saying I'm gonna. No, oh, no. I keep saying I'm gonna do a lot of stuff. Oh, 
Let's see. Seven. Oh, they're backwards. I forgot. Yeah. Then here's six. Should be five of them. Should be five of them. And they sold for twenty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents. All right, these five right here. Those are 1980 Conan newspapers. Um, I have one that says December 31st, 1979, January 1st and 2nd, 1980. Yeah. Does that match up with what you're seeing? Well, your title just says 1980. Back to the pockets, pocket 74. Okay, that's gonna be a gold charm? It is not, it's three things. 74, three things yeah. in one pocket? Yep. Wow, that's a lot. And look how small it is still. Yep, it's no, it's not. Wait, that's a different 74 then. Hang on. <laughs> what is what it? I'm talking about. I think I see him from here. Maybe. We have... Okay, here yeah, we go. I messed up the numbers, so it's good to look at numbers. Um, this is some Trend Masters replacement. Um, Carolers or yeah, whatever. For a Trend Masters set. They sold for $7.19. Okay. We need to get down the dog H box. All right, we sell it. It's a lot of two dog hoodies uh, for ten dollars. Okay. Yeah, two different colors. We sold. We actually sold a lot of this dog stuff over Early. the weekend, which is good. Yeah. Um, we better check and make sure we don't have anything else coming out of this box. Okay. I'll since we we do tape them up every time. Yeah. All right. Nope, that was the only one. All right, we have a carport. Not a carport. Oh, great! I don't want to ship a carport. <laughs> Car parked. Uh, it's a front door hinge pen kit. Two Bravo dash 16. Two Bravo. That's going to be back here. Hey, it's for a Silverado. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Man, I haven't, I haven't gone in this. I used to go in this bucket a pretty good bit. It's pretty empty. I'm not empty. Yeah. But yeah. It used to be full. What, what's the number on 16. it? 16. 16. Okay, this shouldn't be too hard. It's 61. And it's all for uh, 10 dollars. It's right here. Door hinge repair kit. All yeah. Right. $10, you said? Yep. Plus shipping on top. PSOT? All right. What you looking for? Deuce. Oh. Our last deuce is not even cut out. He's right here. <laughs> That's our very last one. Uh, he sold for $8.99, so I'll get him cut out for Lonnie to pack. Seven Delta, oh, I'm going to butcher this name. G. Debrecht, Debrecht, Father Santa Christmas. Claus? It's a figurine, yeah, Seven Delta. It's in a green box. Seven Delta green box. I don't know how. Here it is right here. I don't know how, but I didn't even know this existed. <laughs> I, I don't remember buying it. That's it. Father Christmas. Designed in Russia by select artist. Yep. Okay. Um, $49.99. Okay, yeah. Good. I couldn't believe we I couldn't believe we had a $50 Santa I didn't even know was in the shed. Yeah. Uh, we sold a vintage Levi women's trucker jacket. XP, not XP, <laughs> Four Delta. Four Delta? Yeah, I guess in the clothing bucket. XP used to be what I would do if, if something was cross posted. We abandoned that a long yeah. time ago, though. Four Delta in a bucket, huh? Bucket. Yeah, it's going to be in this big old thing. It's probably going to be pretty low. Let's see. Man, we had no interest on our nurse cape yet. Voodoo, cold weather, small reg, something lab. What is this? Some kind of denim. It's not Harley, is it? Size what? Medium? Okay, I think I found it. Sorry for yelling, y'all. I don't have good communication. I think this is it. I said vintage. I don't know if it is or not. Um... The tag says San Francisco. Just yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's what it is. Um, that sold on sale for $22.49. Alright, next item is a Barbie doll case on 5 Delta. I've seen this case a bunch. It's going to be easier from the other side. Okay. 
Okay, got it. Nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents for that. There's Barbie man. There's old Barbie cases. They don't sell for as much as you would expect they would. I think they produced a lot of them, and every little girl had one. Nineteen sixty one. This one's in nice, pretty nice condition. Fair, fair condition. Yeah. Um, the same buyer also bought a Stampin' Up set. I mean, we sold Stampin' Ups, and we haven't sold Good. them in a while. Yeah. This one is called All I Have Seen. It's. Oh, I think that. I think that, I, I think that kind of thing just isn't quite as popular as it used to be. You know why people might be buying them? Wait, hang on one sec. Let me come up there so they can hear you. All I have seen. You know why people may be buying them right now? They might be making their own Christmas cards. Oh, that's true. Huh? Like, look at this one has the marshmallows and the coffee mug to make like, you know, um, and then it says espresso, but you could do like a hot chocolate theme. Right. Um, this is for Valentine's Day. I don't know what's on those. Flowers and bugs and stuff. That's all for $8.99. Okay. All right. The next order has three dog items on it. Um, what is in the chest drawer? Okay. It's, um, it's a Christmas themed dog collar. Two of them. So they're putting their little bag together. They're, size they're like real small. Extra, extra small. Yeah. Extra, extra small. Yeah. I got two of them right here. Yeah. And then they bought um, two robes. Extra, extra small little robes. No. <laughs> oh. Seven Charlie is a medium. Seven Charlie. It's a Sherpa robe for a dog. Okay. There's a bag right here. Is that what this is? Robe. Medium. I don't know if we have more than one in this bag or not. We did at one time, but it should be the only one left in there. Let's see. Oh, look at that. That's a man. That's a nice little robe. I know. Look at that. Some dog's gonna be snuggly. Wow. And she bought another robe on Eight Echo, a large. So she must have several size animals. Yeah. Eight Echo. Yeah. to echo yep here we go another bag right okay it's the same same robe just a different size large okay yeah man those are nice i know i want one for me our next item is a claudine wolf and i'm just gonna ship this one because it's right here and i have to well we have another one yeah i'll have to cut them out anyway so. okay yeah we have several left of her um she's over ten dollars and 99 cents Next item is a card, Xena Art and Images, uh, 9 Bravo X80. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I, you know what? I, I feel like I probably moved those, maybe? I'm not. No, there's. Okay, wait. I do have something up here. Let's see. cards we, we went through i went through like months where i would just sit there and list cards during my free time this one is um it's got xena on the front and it's a girl that looks like she's growling yeah got it that's over nine dollars and 74 cents original art yeah. so i guess that is actually sketched on there oh I think that's the idea. Original art of Callisto. Oh, created by Rebecca Lynn. I guess it is. I don't know if that's a live art artwork. Well, you don't or not. have it in your title, so. Well, I just said what the card was, I guess. Yeah. Okay, let me go put this back. We sold another another broken egg mug. Oh wow. Uh for a Bravo. That's a thing. Yeah. That's an actual thing people are buying. Probably gonna have to go this way. I'm trying to guess which way you went. And it's usually this way. But it can't always be this way. Because you would run out of room. Oh yeah, we had two of these. Yeah. So this should be Alpha, I hope. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yep, and that's all for $14.99. Sandestin, Florida. All right, we have some another two pack of dog hoodies, dog e-box. Okay, we got the box down. Yep, they sell for $11.99. It's two hoodies. 
Okay. And there's two more available, so just stick this bag back in there. Alrighty. Boy, dog stuff, man. Whew. Yep. We need to find another buy like that again. I don't know if we will or not. We Maybe might. not. You never know. Maybe not at those prices. Check these sizes. All right, we have some pocket charms coming up. Okay. Pocket 52. Gold? Yes. Oh yeah, this is the Aztec one. Yes, that's all for $112.49. That's a little, well, y'all can see the photo better anyways. Yeah, it's the little Aztec calendar. Yeah. And then pocket 76, two birds on a branch. This was the price. This one was pretty pricey. Yeah, it weighs uh, 3.3 grams, so it sold for $184.99. That's fairly heavy as, as these gold charms go. Yeah. All right, six Bravo Sunday morning quarterback poster. Six Bravo. Did we move them? No, they're right here. Okay. Got a big old stack of them right here. And that sold for $14.99. Oh, this one has a little nick out the top. Yeah. I'm going to go through and get a better one. Okay, we picked out a better one there. All right, 8 Bravo. Um, this is some of those Mattel Fashion Pack clothing. It's not Barbie, but it fits Barbie. Um, yeah, it's a yellow outfit. 8 Bravo? Yeah. I was waiting for you to give like a number or something. There is none. 8 it's Bravo. Like a yellow Fashion Friends. Yeah. And we have a bunch of these. We did. We bought those all at the same cell where that QP porcelain doll came from. Yeah, are they all gone now? I think that might be the last. Oh, wow. One. Maybe. All right. Um, that one sold for $14.99. That's a lot for... For non-Barbie. Right. Yeah. Um, for Foxtrot, we sold a cast iron Christmas pan. Oh, I can see it. Right. Stretch out and reach it, and probably I'm sure I'm gonna have to probably dust it out. Man, that thing's nice. Isn't that cool? It is cool. Make some pretty cornbread in that thing. It's heavy. Yeah. I mean, this is heavy cast iron. Yeah, that's that's good. Look, cast feel iron. it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> this um, his name is John um Wright. He makes just cool cast iron, uh, all kind of different. Designs. Why wasn't this one worth more money? I don't know. Huh. Maybe it's common. I'm not sure. Um, in the chest drawer, <laughs> we couldn't believe that this was a thing to list, and it actually sold. Um, court TV judges gavel. Keychain. Yeah, Candace actually look at this. This was in the four hundred dollar gold buy. It was a knickknack. Yeah. And Candace told me I was twenty. I'm like, no way. But she showed me like, sure enough. But we did take an offer, I think. No, I did 10%. 10%. It's over $17.99. Yeah, I'm like, is Court TV even still a thing? And sure enough, they have a website where they live stream. I pulled it up and they were showing like a, a murder trial going on. They probably have a, they probably have a YouTube channel too, I imagine. Probably so, yeah. We always watch Law and Crime. Not always, but like whenever there's a trial on. Yeah. Um, we sold another car part to Bravo-8. Oh, in the same bucket. Yeah. That's odd whenever a category type doesn't sell for a while. And then you get multiple in the same day. That's weird. Okay, we're at eight. Yeah, it's an I got it. engine expansion plug. Yep. Six dollars for that. Okay. Alrighty, what's next? Um, two cookbooks on the same order. Three Bravo, C'est C'est Bon. C'est C'est Bon. We probably sold C'est C'est Bon. <laughs> C'est C'est Bon. How many times we sold C'est C'est Bon? I don't know, three or four. Uh, at least four. This is, this is the one we almost, almost pulled the last time we sold C'est C'est Bon. And it's the other one. And it's the other one that, yeah. we got it right. Yeah, this is the correct you one. You saw the spine and assumed that was it. Well, no, you know you know why? You know what triggered me? Because this had the, the price, price tag. tag. And the other one was up here. I remember that. $17.99 for that. Yeah, that's not a bad book. And then the other one's actually like a pamphlet on 5 Delta R4 in the little pamphlet box. Okay. 5 Delta. 
a hat on hat in the way here hat and a dragon were in the way arfer you've actually done pretty well with these they are that one was for that eight dollars and 99 cents i think is great yeah um that's the kind of thing you can usually like in a state sale you could probably buy a little box of them or a big bag a, a couple of fat books. bag of them yeah. you know cheap um that's like recipes from a plantation by you tesh all right we have another dog item in the dog l box all right got it out of there that's a big old arcadia trail harness there yeah for a big old dog $22.99 for that. Yeah, let me put this dog box back up. All right, we have another nutcracker. It's a chubby guy. That's the one that, uh, that's the one that sold a little while ago, you we heard. Yes. Five Charlie left. He's a Scottish bagpiper. This guy. Oh. That's what he sold cheap. Yeah, he's got an issue, right? Yeah, he's missing half his mustache. Yeah. Um, and he sold for $44.99. That would be an easy fix. He's got a nick on the back also. We sold a dog collar on Poshmark. It's in the chest drawer. It's teal with like um, gold foil colored flowers. Teal. Okay. I got to figure out what teal means. <laughs> okay, I think this is, this is teal, right? Or is that teal? This is teal. The dark is teal. Yeah. Oh, that is a teal then. No, the dark no. one is teal. Why are you? Look, you gotta use a smaller box of crayons when you talk to me. <laughs> you can't use that big box. Blue green. <laughs> okay, there or you green, go. Green blue. It sold for um, eight dollars. On Poshmark. Yeah. Plus ship, so we and probably end up I'm with. I'm just checking Mercari. We have nothing. I'm checking um, Etsy real quick, just in case I missed something. Let me say okay we're all good that's everything well we have one more thing going out that's kind of bigger so yeah we're gonna pull it as or you know what as a matter of fact uh i'll just show it to y'all yeah it's not that big as a matter of fact i, I actually double checked and i i'm gonna be shipping this ground advantage it's this uh dvd recorder we bought that at a garage sale for ten dollars and what we get candace one thirty nine ninety nine we got $140 plus shipping for it. So I'll just leave that up here for now because I'm not going to have anywhere else where to work uh, anyway. So I'm going to have to move a bunch of this stuff somewhere else while I'm working mm -hmm. over here. So yeah. uh, that's like a couple of shelves worth of stuff already. Yeah. And it's not even... What it's, is it? uh, it's two o'clock on Sunday. So we still have a good... We have a full day ahead. Man. Yeah. At least 10 hours worth of stuff sales that we will need to be packed okay so we may be pulling some more tonight yeah maybe we might yeah we might that'll start the next video right so let me get to it and um we'll pack and watch some football and we will see y'all again very soon thanks so much for watching y'all bye-bye